I used to be a sports fanatic. I used to play every sport imaginable. But my coordination left me. So, for instance, I, I used to run and the coordination of my brain and legs just stopped working. Mm. But I needed something. I needed to keep active because I'm not a person that just sits down. And so walking was the obvious choice. I can put one foot in front of the other most of the time. And so I began to, to appreciate how much you saw when you're actually walking as opposed to running or playing games and all that sort of thing. And it's, you actually become closer to nature because especially with dementia, your brain is so slow at working things out that you actually see more because you focus more on an object and see it for all its beauty. So what better replacement could there be if you can't do the things that you did love than to find something new? I'm exhausted, but I'm also content and know that in an hour or two, I can go out again. Because <laughs> I, I usually have two or three walks a day just because I just love being outside. It's, it's very good for your mood to, to walk in whatever weather, just to be outside and um, not be shut in the four walls because all you've got for company inside is dementia. Whereas outside, you've got nature as well. So, it puts dementia to one side just for a little while. I'm not very good if I can't do a walk. I'm, I'm quite down. I'm, I have to have a walk each day mm. of some sort. And as I say, even if I get drenched, it doesn't matter, it's only water. Yeah, well, my camera came in during lockdown. Mm. I bought it just before lockdown. Because I, just like everybody, all your routine went and I needed a new routine because I got a bit lost. And so walking was the only thing we were allowed to do. So I took my camera out with me and started snapping the shots that I could see. And that sort of took a bit of a roller coaster ride because the, the people that were in lockdown in my village, they used to see my photos on, on the village Facebook page and appreciate their village once more. And for those in isolation, they could see what's going on in the village without being able to go out. So it, had, it was beneficial to me, but it was beneficial to other people as well. It's turned into everything. I didn't realize what walking could turn into. I now know far more people in my village and they know me because I, they always see me out in my camera. But people are so friendly here that they, they'll just stop and chat. You know, I'm, I'm Wendy with a camera. I'm not Wendy with dementia, which is just adorable. And so, it enables them to get to know me rather than Wendy with dementia. My daughters track me. That's my one of my safety nets. So that if I'm if I'm totally disorientated and there's no one around, which is very rare, but if that happens, then I can always text them and say, where am I? And they can, they can see exactly where I am. But also, my villagers are so good to me. Now they know I have dementia. But when I'm walking about, they, they don't bat an eyelid at me saying, oh, can you just remember 
point me in the direction of home, please. It's it's not a it's nothing unusual. You know, they just know they're helping me. The first time you do it is always a a moment of it either works or it doesn't. And the way people react to you at that moment can either make or break you, whether you do it again or not. And I, I must have been lucky and had people just point me in the right direction. But also yesterday, um, yesterday, in my blog yesterday was my walk in Keswick, which I call my paradise. And I, I suddenly became disorientated on the walk I've done a thousand times. And because I was in Keswick, it felt different. You know, I, I was a bit shaky about it. But I automatically, for some reason, and I, don't, I can't explain why, but I automatically took out my phone and started recording what I was feeling. And I, start, I started to follow two people and one had a blue coat on. And so I kept saying, must follow the lady in the blue coat. Um, and her husband took the coat, his coat off. And I was, I remember saying, oh, I hope the lady with the blue coat doesn't take her coat off. But it just enabled me to put it in perspective and speak the fear instead of just condensing it in your head. It enabled me to talk my fear. And through doing that, eventually, I came out of it. I, I came out by yawning and when I opened my eyes, I knew where I was. So there are, it is frightening. And, but the most important thing to try hard to remember is not to panic mm -hmm. because it is dementia trying to trying to put you in that panic, trying to control you. And by taking to control yourself, you, you take back that feeling of being in control instead of dementia being in control. But I'm not saying it's easy. And also I, I take, if it's a new route that I'm going or a parked route, I'll take photos of landmarks mm. along the way. And then when I turn round, I can look at what the landmarks are I got to see on the way back. So uh, my mantra is there's always a way. Yeah. You've just got to find what works for you. Do you use maps? I do when I, I did when I was traveling and mm. um, I, I use them a lot. Uh, especially the talking one. I can't remember what it is now, but the talking map that, that tells you to turn left and tells you to turn right. Um, because it's going at the speed that you're going. It's not racing ahead of you. So I find them very good. But I, I, I've not used them here, but I, they would work probably in the same way at home as they do when I'm elsewhere. But yeah, just, it's just getting used to things. And I'd always say to people, if you're hesitant, then go out with someone, but, but use the map in your ear and you lead the way so that you've, you're the one getting the confidence. Families are often worried about us falling. Yeah. So, I, I'd say to people, don't what don't feel embarrassed about having a stick. Many people are so embarrassed about having a stick. But there are so many types out there nowadays. You don't have to have something that makes you look 80. I've got a light, I've got lights and everything on my stick. And it's a wobble. 
I call it my wobble stick because it's actually got a spring on the bottom because I wobble rather than fall. And the, the stick helps me bounce back up again. So that also gives my daughter's confidence to, to know, well, to hope that I don't fall over. Yeah. Um, so don't be, don't, don't be embarrassed and don't be, think it's for old people. It's just going to help you. My favourite walk is simply out early morning before anyone else is about and seeing the sunrise from the outside of the village. So I walk through the, through the long lane past Hapney Cottage and I can see the sunrise. And it's the most beautiful view to you you have so many fields around you, so many trees, and you just feel, I just, that's what, exactly what I did this morning, and it just felt wonderful to be, to be alive. 